Hi guys, it's Loretta with Sparrowhawker Designs. Welcome back to my channel. So I have been commissioned to do seven journals uh, before Christmas. <laughs> um, two Christmas journals, one um, one bee journal, one soap journal. That one's going to be challenging. A quilt journal, um, a Wiccan New Age journal and this one this is a suffragette journal so i have a i have had a ton of fun with this journal i'm telling you just i was very inspired and very moved by some of the stuff i learned which you would think at my age and being a history major there still wouldn't be stuff to learn but by golly <laughs> i did i learned a lot so um it measures seven by nine it's three signatures and I I really had to rein myself in because you know there's sort of a, a price cap you know she said I, I want to spend this much money and so I didn't do a lot of my extravagant flips and tucks and all that kind of stuff so I had to rein myself in and it was very hard because I could have probably made another another two signatures <laughs> worth of stuff but anyway so this is just tied together with purple silk sorry I had tried to make a sash like their sash is um, purple white and yellow and I tried to do like a purple white and yellow sash but you know I just I don't sew that well and it just it looked too big and bulky and so I just went with this purple um, it's made out of a cookie mix box uh, that I got from Costco and um, I just covered it with a uh, beige tablecloth and some trim on the front here I've got a corrugated cardboard with a couple of doilies a paper doily some eyelash trim some more laces here uh, and then this wonderful picture of these two suffragettes <laughs> And the quote on here is, I incite this meeting to rebellion, which was what um, uh, Emil Emmeline Pankhurst, I think that's her name, I hope I pronounced it right, from England said at one of their um, suffragette meetings, because she was telling them, you just can't be nice anymore, we, we have to go the next step, and I incite this meeting to rebellion. So this is being made for a woman who is an activist. Um, this is all about um, the women's vote and women's right to vote. So if you're offended by that kind of thing, I'm telling you now. So you can go watch something else. <laughs> so uh, on the inside here, I have this beautiful colorized photo. Um, I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put in here a note about the journal maybe. Um, I haven't decided yet. So here I have this, uh, I'm going to be a suffragette, which I thought was really cute. This says the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And this little vote, League of Women voters card. And then this flips up. And I really tried to find images and quotes from all over the world, not just the U.S. Uh, so this is, as typical, this is Our Lady. This is her... Um, scrapbook that I made and uh, sh this image is from my private collection and so here we have a, a journaling card that says journey on with images from women out and this is the marching song which I thought was perfect this is 16 reasons for supporting women's suffrage I won't read all the stuff to you and then this in here is um, a really amazing quote by Lucretia Mott. Um, so, anyway, she can journal on the back of that. So what I tried to do is I tried to make put on all of this tidbit information on the suffragettes and still have room to journal, which is always a challenge. I'm just checking to make sure I'm in in the camera here. And so here we have Ida B. Wells. Uh, there's a little ticket here. And another, this, I managed to find actually an image of African-American women who were out 
um, protesting or marching, which is not easy to do. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so I tried to match up like the quote with whoever's image it was. And we have journaling paper. And then here, uh, since I'm from St. Louis, I thought I would throw in two images from St. Louis. This is the first Equal Suffrage headquarters in St. Louis, 1912. And some tucks. And this is a woman speaking to a crowd in St. Louis. And of course, Susan B. Anthony. You can't have a book without Susan B. Anthony. Um, so this is a quote here of hers. And then in here, um, this is a letter written by, I think it was um, Elizabeth Cady Stanton on what Susan B. Anthony meant to people and to the movement. It might have been somebody else, but um, anyway, it's really inspiring eulogy. I also tried, since it's going to a woman, I don't know if she's ever seen a journal like this before, so I tried to put little tabs on stuff so she would know there was something in there <laughs> so women bring all voters into the world let women vote um, and even though I really decorated a lot I tried to make sure that nothing went to waste you know there wasn't just wasted space so here's a tuck here in this image of these ladies in front of the Capitol um, votes for women and this is actually uh, from my private collection as well. And then here, this is the National American Women's Suffrage Association uh, certificate, and I just put it on there and made a little, this is an envelope. So, and then this opens like this. There should be plenty of journaling spots in here. I don't really do junk journals necessarily, like what the what typical junk journals are. I do kind of, I don't know what these are. I mean, I do use junk in them, but um, they're not, um, I don't use as much random uh, things as a lot of the junk journals are. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just something I just can't bring myself to do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I need more order, I guess. Um, and, th and this is Lucretia Mott. This was really fun finding like these little things like this, the suffrage movement. And so here is the middle of the first signature. It's called Being Arrested because uh, these women were arrested. And um, this is Emmeline Pankhurst in England and this is in the U.S. And um, they were treated horribly um, when they were arrested. They were savagely beaten and um, given like wormy food to eat and yeah it was pretty I got I got kind of teary-eyed actually <laughs> like reading some of it I was really moved by it this is Hermila Galindo she was a big uh, activist in Mexico all journaling and of course Sojourner Truth and then I have a uh, tag here with a Susan B. Anthony quote and I have and here is the entire speech she gave anti-woman the anti-woman speech and this is actually the original speech um, instead of so sh this one is from 1851 and then um, the newspapers or somebody kind of changed it a little bit and published it again in the 1860s or 1870s or maybe I'm getting the years wrong I can't remember but anyway um, the second one the one that's been altered is kind of the more famous one that's the one that goes around this is the original so if you ever get a chance you want to read it just google Sojourner Truth original ain't I a woman speech <laughs> and then this is Emmeline Pankhurst being arrested <laughs> And then here's an envelope, and inside are some postcards and writing things. And then this is also a tuck. I don't have anything in it. More journaling. And then I made this cute little votes for women thing here. 
A woman living here has registered to vote, thereby assuming responsibility of citizenship. And then here's an actual um, National Women's Suffrage Association membership <laughs> thing from 1900. Um, this is uh, official program of women's suffrage procession in 1913. And then, um, just like I did with the ballerina book, I had all the playbills. Well, I, I've used a lot of the suffragette covers. It was a publication. This is a paper doily, and then this is a punch that I did on the end. Some sewing. Uh, this is a flip up. Uh oh, looks like it got glued together. Oh darn, that's not good. <laughs> there we go. I will have to fix that. But anyway, it's just a flip up. That's the first signature. And then this is the second signature. Looks like I need to do something there too. Um, so here's a, a quote from Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and I just put um, an image in there, in this little tuck spot, and then this little National Women's Suffrage Association membership. And then in here, there's just journaling paper in there. Paper with a ruffle. And then here's women working and another quote by Elizabeth Cady Stanton, which is, I think this is from her, um, uh, I can't remember, the, I can't remember the publication she, she did, but it was just a beautiful, um, speech that she gave anyway. And then here's a envelope. There's nothing in that. I love this image. I thought this image was amazing. Um, in their march with their costumes and the flag. I just thought that was so cool. And also here's a bunch of ladies. Uh, this is Richmond, Virginia. So these both open up. She can put photos in here or she could even add paper, you know, glue paper down and write on it, but I just left it like it is. She can do whatever she wants. And then um, this is Tahiri. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, Fatima Boragani. So she was from uh, Persia, I believe. Um, and she worked for uh, women's rights there. Here's an image from Connecticut. Boats for women. And in here is journaling paper. And then this is, um, this is a piece of dictionary paper. And I put an envelope on it. And um, this is Emmeline Pankhurst. It says, we have to free half the human race so that they can help to free the other half. <laughs> we, have to fr we have to free half of the human race, the women, so that they can help free the other half, which I thought was funny. This doesn't really look like her too much, but that's what, the, that's what it said on Google, so hopefully I got that right. <laughs> Some more journaling. Journaling. Virtue can only flourish among equals. And then in here, this is a glassine bag, and in here is um, a tag with a quote from Carrie Chapman Cat. And then this, I kind of just did this collage, like, um, like I just sort of glued this down in different places, just kind of made this collage of things, and you can put something in there, and you can put something up here. And then it's also a pocket here. And so this is um, the cover of Life magazine, When Women Got the Right to Vote. It says, Congratulations. I'm assuming that's supposed to be the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Uh, 
Um, and this is a very young Elizabeth Cady Stanton. I would have girls regard themselves not as adjectives, but as nouns, which I just loved. I thought that was great. It was really hard deciding, like, what quotes to put in and what ones to leave out. Justice and judgment lie often a world apart. And this is, these are also, um, tucks. So you can put tags in there. So I, I only, I don't think I only did, like, um... This one is also a tuck. I was going to say, I think I tried to make sure that every one of the photo pages had some kind of tuck in it. So, um, okay. And then this is a, a pocket as well, but there's nothing in it. This is the best journeys are not always in straight lines. And then here's a picture of the ladies in France. And an envelope with this votes for women I love this image I thought this was awesome and then uh, this is a lady from Brazil uh, and it was really funny because I, I found um, it's Leo Linda Daltro and I had found this quote and I tried to do the Google translation so I could figure out what it said and it wasn't working and then I realized because they don't speak Spanish in Brazil they speak they speak Portuguese and so I was looking at the wrong language. So finally I figured out what it said. <laughs> it took me a while. It took me like two or three minutes. I'm like, why isn't this translating? And then I was like, oh yeah, they don't speak Spanish there. <laughs> um, and this is a march that she led on, in Rio de Janeiro. I tried not to make it too frilly because I figured um, a suffragette would be kind of no nonsense and all, all business. And, you know. um, and then this is... Uh, woman from Egypt, Huda Sharawi, Shara, I don't, Huda Sharawi, I hope I pronounced that right, anyway, um, she has, she had some really amazing quotes, it was hard for me to pick one, um, this says, as far as my spiritual level of experience is concerned, the woman is the core part of humanity. This truth has been manipulated by culture and community. <laughs> so, so ruffle. More journaling. And then this is kind of a, um, a quadruple pocket thing. So there's a pocket here, taxation without representation. And then um, this little pocket here. And then there's a little pocket here. And then this is also a pocket. Did some stitching. Uh, this is a French lady. Some more journaling spots. And this is pre presented to Letitia Whittall by the women, by the Women's Social and Political Union in recognition of a gallant action whereby through endurance to the last extremity of hunger and hardship, a great principle of political justice was vindicated. Um, and uh, this is Christabel Pankhurst. She's Emmeline's daughter, and she actually went on to um, keep sort of doing social issue work. Um, there's this little tuck right here. And then a tuck up here. Just some stitching there. More journaling. Um, and then this is a lady named Louise Michelle. Uh, she's from France, and she was extremely radical. <laughs> she's extremely radical. And then um, this is also a little tuck right here. Um, I just didn't put anything in it. And then this is Lucy Stone. And the cover of the suffragist here. Oops, looks like that got glued together. Okay, well, anyway, this is the... Um, Gosh darn it. There we go. This is the, um, the, suff the, the suffrage amendment, the Lady Justice, <laughs> American Womanhood, and it says, at last. 
and so I also did like a little um, stamp uh, uh, punch there. And then this is, um, oh, I'll have to read it or I will not pronounce it correctly. Funmalayo Ransom Kuti. She is from Nigeria. She's the first woman in Nigeria to ever ride in a car. <laughs> so, um, and she did all sorts of uh, social issue work for the women in her country. And then, um, this is the back cover, and this is a tuck right here. And then down at the bottom, it just says, Made by Sparrowhawker Designs. And that's that. This was so much fun to make. I, I cannot tell you how much fun this was to make. Um, and it, it took me a while, too. It took me, like, two weeks. <laughs> so, um... So yeah, I guess the next journal that you'll see from me, uh, um, so this is spoken for, um, the next journal you'll see from me, I guess, is one on soap. So that one's going to be interesting, folks, because, I don't know, I can't do, like, awesome quotes and stuff about soap. <laughs> well, maybe I can. Who knows? Anyway, um, okay, so that is my suffragette journal. It was uh, ordered as a gift for somebody. Anyway, I hope she enjoys it as much as I enjoyed making it. So take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.